Buongiorno from Ovia. This morning I'm going on an excursion to the Madalena. I don't remember how to say it. It's 6 a.m. and my bus to Palau, which is where the port is that I'm getting on a boat, is like an hour driving away, so I have to take a bus there. Don't need to be there until 8.45. There's only two buses this morning that go there, and the second one gets there like right when I need to be there. So, taking the earlier one at 6.20. I'm just walking to the bus stop right now. Okay, the only thing I'm worried about about taking this bus is that I don't have a ticket yet, and sometimes bus drivers can be weird about like you buying the ticket on the bus. So I'm hoping that maybe because it's so early, he won't care, because it's not gonna be like super busy, I don't think. We'll find out. I also hope I have enough small change make oh my god just tripped I also hope I have enough like small change to make like a small amount for just a bus ticket so I don't have to be handing him a 20 for like a two euro bus ticket I think I have in total three euros and five cents we'll see <laughs> Okay. Alright, done. a cappuccino actually I finished two cappuccinos with soy milk and a cornetto for breakfast and then I just came across this little market there seem to be these in like a lot of towns where there'll be a bunch of just stands set up it's not like a weekend thing and specifically it's like an everyday thing at least in this like southern the southern parts of Italy that I've been to so far uh, but now I'm just walking around because it's 8 12 and I don't need to meet the tour group until 8 45 All right, I went for a walk and found a little mini market and got some ache, which is orange, lemon, and carrot juice because I'm trying to get my immune system working again. I found this little trail that runs along the water. See where that guy's running? And it goes all the way up this way and it is along the water. And there's already people swimming right now. Do you see that? There are already people in the water. It's already getting really hot and also fail. I forgot the 20 euro sunscreen that I bought yesterday. So we're doing really good this morning, but in my defense, it was 5 a.m. when I woke up this morning and I slept horribly last night. Anyway, note to self, next time that you come to Sardinia, stay in Palau. I hope I'm saying that right, I don't know. But stay in Palau and there's like so much stuff to do here. There's so many excursions. If I wanna, you know, splurge and do the cool excursions like I'm doing today. Um, but also then I can stay along this path and go for a run in the morning. This is like the perfect place to go for a run. It reminds me of a path that I did whenever I was in Croatia. And yeah, it's just really beautiful and I really wish I could go for a run right now. Honestly, I don't know how far I would get considering I haven't ran in like almost two months now. So anyways, it's 8.30. I'm gonna drink some of this. I don't know if I'm gonna bring it with me, but it was only two euros. Um, I'm gonna need to go to the bathroom at some point, so I hope that the place that we're meeting has a bathroom. I also just realized I don't think I even really fully explained what I'm doing today. So I'm going to the island off of like the main coast of Sardinia called Madalena, I think. Oh my god, I'll put it up right here. But it's an island that's part of the archipelago. Also don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> but you know, the archipelago is like when there's a bunch of mini little islands sometimes not even inhabitable but um a bunch of mini islands off of the coast while well, my brain's really not functioning this morning is it anyways i'm doing a little boat tour of that and there's some snorkeling involved and there's getting off of uh the boat at the big island i think yeah and i don't really know i think there's some like food and drinks involved too but yeah i just wanted to book like a little excursion for myself so i had like the full experience of what Sardinia is like because it's all about the water and the snorkeling and things like that. Also look, there's all these trails that go up to like rocks and stuff like this. I bet if you went up there you'd have a pretty cool little area to hang out and look at this view. I'm gonna start making my way to the tour place where we are meeting at 845 because it's 833.
Well guys, I saw a jellyfish, so if anyone's gonna get stung today, it's gonna be me. So, they're like black. The jellyfish here are black. Also, I have no idea if you can hear me, so. This is the coolest thing I've done this entire trip. We are back in Palau and I'm exhausted. <laughs> we got back and so then we went and got gelato and now it's time for me to head back home to Olbia so I can shower, get this gross off of me. I'll give you more of a recap when I get back to my room but that was the coolest thing I've ever done, I think. Buongiorno. It is the next day, clearly. If you can't hear, my cold's gotten a little bit worse. I feel okay, but I'm like a little bit stuffy and my throat feels dry and scratchy. But like, I feel better than yesterday. Yesterday I felt like my body like kinda didn't feel that good. While I was on the boat and stuff swimming, maybe it was just like the endorphins of being the absolute happiest ever all day yesterday that I like didn't feel miserable. <laughs> but then whenever the trip was over and I was going to find the bus, I was like, I need to find a pharmacy. That's besides the point. I got medicine for it, I'm feeling good. Let's do a recap of yesterday. So I thought it was gonna be a tour of the Madalena. Still think I'm saying that wrong. That island, that main island, but I think I got confused because in my research, there were trips that like took you to that island and let you get off, and then it was mostly just a tour around that island. But no, this was better. We drove by that island and it was really beautiful, but then we actually went just into the archipelago. So basically we went up towards like the Madalena, but then we went around like the lower part of Santo Stefano and then up around Spargi, so that he was saying like, I don't know if that's exactly the word in Italian, but like it is where there's asparagus. <laughs> so we went up around the island of Spargi, and then we went up to Razzoli, and then hung around those islands there. And then in between those three islands that you see, um, there's Piscine Naturale, so it's like the natural swimming pools where there's all these like big, um, like clear blue water areas that are around like the dark blue rocks and stuff that you see in the water, I'll insert a photo here as well. Um, so we went there and hung out there for a bit, but basically we just went all around the archipelago of the Madalena, so of this area, all around those little islands. I went swimming and snorkeling and just hung out on the boat and I met the coolest girls from Australia. They were so, so nice and we all took like videos and photos of each other and that was really fun. Um, and then there were a lot of French people uh, yeah, there were four French girls, and then there was, I think, a family, like two couples, like older couples um, from Sweden or Switzerland, something like that. So we were all a mixed bunch, but got to speak English, and then the skipper of the boat, oh my god, Kevin. He was so, so nice. He practiced speaking Italian with me a little bit, and his dad is from America, and so his American accent, like his ability to speak English, is like impeccable. Like, he sounds like he's from America. I would have never guessed after we started talking, I was like, are you from Italy? He's like, yeah. And I was like, Italian's your first language? He was like, yep. He sounds like he's from America. It was wild, but his dad is from like New Jersey, I think. So he grew up uh, learning English from someone from America. So that's why he sounds so good. Anyways, 
that was the best tour ever. In my research, I found a million different tours that um, went around the same areas, but some of the reviews were like, there were just too many people. There was like a hundred people on the boat. When we would all go into the water, we just felt like we were really crowded and we went to really crowded areas, blah, blah, blah. So that's not what I wanted to do. And those tours were also more expensive. This tour, and I'll be like open and honest in case you guys do this, it was 80 euros for a skipper in the boat and then a maximum of 10 people on the boat. We might've had 11. Four, four, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I made it 11, but I'm a solo traveler, so maybe they just like pushed me on there with all the little groups. But um, that, so it like wasn't crowded. He took us to the area that would be the most crowded first, which, what was that? I don't remember, but he took us to um, a little beautiful beach that made me feel like I was like a PC screensaver. Um, he took us to this beautiful beach that he says gets really crowded first and we were the first people there there was nobody else there so we got to enjoy that by ourselves which was really cool and then the rest of the trip he took us to like hidden coves and different areas to swim that he felt that um were just as beautiful as the popular areas except people didn't know about them so yeah it seemed like we were just on a private boat with a friend like it didn't feel like very tory it was just like catered to what we wanted to do. If we wanted to stay in area longer, we could. If we wanted to move on, we could. Yeah, he just kind of felt it out. And then there were also snacks and wine and water aboard. Like, it was such a cool experience. 10 out of 10 recommend. It was amazing. And I took a bus from Olbia, which they were all like so surprised that I took a bus. Like everyone from Sardinia is surprised that I'm just like taking buses around, but it's really not that difficult. It's just that the timetables are really spaced out. So like once an hour or something. Actually, I need to see what time my next bus is. I don't know if I'm going to make the one at 10 because it's 9.45 now. And the buses are actually really nice. It's like a coach style bus, not like a public public bus. Um, and it was really easy. I just had to leave super early. <laughs> uh, but it was great, it was such a good day. Honestly, I got a little bit sunburnt because I'm an idiot and forgot my sunscreen. But today, we're not doing that. I've already applied sunscreen everywhere. Um, and today, I think I might go down to San Teodoro. I think I'm saying that wrong. I'm just, like not very good at saying locations correctly. Like I can't pronounce Cagliari, which I know that that's not how you say Cagliari. It's like Cagliari, but you say it like that, so it's like Cagliari? Cagliari. I can't say it. Anyway, going down to um, San Teodoro and then hopefully walking to Spiaggia Isuleda, Isuleda, which is like a mile and a half walk from the town, but I think I can do it. It just might be really hot. I don't know. I just saw that there were lawn chairs that you can rent there and after my mom spoiling me with lawn chairs at the beaches, I realized how nice it is. So I might go rent myself a lawn chair and just lounge out for my last day and kind of have an early night in to plan my travels for tomorrow down to Cagliari. Cal Cagliari. I know like a GLI is like a ye. Cagliari. Cagliari. <laughs> Cagliari. I know that's not how you say it, but plan my travels to there tomorrow and then figure out what I'm going to do for the rest. I know this was kind of a long talk, but I just kind of wanted to talk about yesterday because all I had was that footage. Um, so let's get on with our day. Let's see when I need to catch a bus. <laughs> <laughs> 